Hello everyone, this is Sadvik, and in this video we'll be discussing about a cool social engineering tool which is named as Tom Breaker. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you face any issues or do you want to discuss, if you want to discuss any kind of uh, queries regarding cybersecurity, you can check out my Discord server. The link in the description below. So you might be thinking, if you be, if you've been following my channel for a while, you might be thinking like Sadvik, you already done a video on Stormbreaker. So why to make it once again? So yes, I already made a video on Stormbreaker, and you can see this is one of the biggest hit, and I th I think this is the one of the best video on my channel so which has which set a lot of benchmarks in terms of views uh, comments and uh, likes or whatsoever so really thank you for all that support and this video i made it on may 3rd 2021 and there has been some updates and people are facing a lot of issues because almost all of the stuff got changed so uh, so that's the reason i'll be covering this tool so before that uh, let's go to the repository so this is the official repository of the stormbreaker so all the links will be in the description below and you can uh, try to follow this on any of your linux machine so it can be ubuntu parrot os kali linux or whatever it is okay so whichever has the bash integrity so bash and python 3 you will be good to go and also before that guys uh, make sure you uh, uh, navigate to this ngrock.com and create a simple account so it is for free you don't need to pay a single dime or single uh, whatever it is okay and uh, just uh, you will be uh, uh, wished with this particular uh, dashboard so keep that uh, aside and let's go to our tool so you can see it's been like some changes were made okay so not major changes but some people who are starting uh, this tool like uh, mostly beginners will be facing a lot of issues with that so that's the reason i thought to make a video on that so uh, let's go uh, let's clone this thing so uh, let me show you my setup so this is my kali machine and before that uh, just run a command who am i okay so the reason is like uh, some of the commands while you if you are not a root okay so you should be uh, providing a sudo in in between so something like sudo and then some kind of command okay so since i'm already root i will be not providing any sudo or whatever it is but if you are not a root uh, like normal user kali or whatever the user it is so try to provide sudo so that your work will will be done uh, fine okay so let's go to the desktop uh or let's do here whatever it is so let me go back uh let me copy this url so all the urls and everything will be in the description below so kit clone and just paste it here and control shift v uh, if you want to know it and you can see it's done so it's a small file so 7 mb or some uh, whatsoever so you don't need high crazy speed internet connection for that and control l to clear the screen and uh, let me do an ls uh, now you can see there is a storm breaker and there are other some other tools but uh, which is not related to this video so navigate to this directory so cd uh, storm breaker or whatever the name it is getting downloaded with okay so just do that you can hit tab so that will auto complete and uh, let me do clear screen once again control l and if i do an ls here so you have some couple of files here so which is an install.sh so which we will be requiring and requirements.txt and uh, st.py so st.py in the sense like storm breaker dot by or whatever it is you can call and before that what we need to do is like we need to have a python 3 so this particular script is based on python 3 so if you want to know how how i'm telling it's python 3 based so you can open this st.py here and the uh, the difference the main difference between uh, what you call this uh, python 2 and python 3 is mostly with the syntaxes with this uh, circular brackets and whatever it is so you can clearly see that it's a python 3 based script okay so that's the thing so make sure you install that so how to install so sudo okay i'm telling if you're uh, like sudo or if you're already root you don't need to provide that so apt uh, install python3 hyphen pip so you you will also require pip so do this command and it will be good to go so now uh, if i do an ls once again now you can see we have a requirements.txt so let's in install all the requirements so you might be uh, having doubt like what is this requirements.txt so a, a python uh, program has some kind of modules a built-in modules or whatever it is so this requirements.txt mentions all the modules that this particular program requires so we need to install those requirements so that this program will run properly so how to do that so pip3 okay install hyphen r and requirements.txt okay just hit enter 
so it is going to install some kind of modules that this particular tool uh, uses okay and uh, once it is done we'll be we should be running this install.sh so i'm root guys here so make sure if you are not root you'll be getting some kind of permission issue so permission denied or something like that in those cases provide sudo and you will be good to go okay so if i do an ls once again so we can see the requirements are already satisfied because i'm already using this tool for quite some time and the only thing that you need to do is like the next part so to to run this particular bash script so this is a bash.sh in the sense like it's a bash script so how to run that so dot slash install.sh so again if you are not a sudo root provide sudo in uh, before and now it is going to uh, do some kind of update and it is also going to download some kind of uh, what you call some requirements that this particular uh, tool will require in order to make it run properly and also uh come back so you can see uh if you go to this ng rock dashboard so once you log in you will be wished with this page or created with this page you can see you will find some kind of uh, a command here so in this command you have an authentication token so the reason why i'm telling an authentication token is like so once you uh uh like once you run this tool what happens is like it will it will be having some kind of a default uh, ng rock token uh, which will be not working if you open that it will be saying like uh, it is not working or something like that so that's the reason so now if i do uh, you can see it's already done so dependencies installed successfully so if it is not installed so you'll be getting some kind of a different error message here okay so if i do an ls once again now you can see we have an other file called as ng rock here okay and you can see some other files and uh, stuff got included so ng rock is an important thing okay so ng rock if you don't know i'll give a quick brief so mostly the web developers and uh, like since if they're developing some kind of web application they don't need to uh, look how it looks like in the internet okay so they can use ng rock and they can do port forwarding so that that ng, -Lo ng rock url uh, anyone can access it in the world okay so the same works here so but we'll be using this for the malicious intent and also guys uh, don't use this for any kind of malicious intent cause uh, there are a strict cyber laws implemented in each of the countries so uh, use it wisely okay so let me uh, copy this so let me copy this thing and uh, one more issue we'll be facing is like uh, we need to provide dot slash okay so you can see it is telling like uh it is uh we ran the command so i'll show you once again how i ran so dot slash ng rock so it's a binary and i'm providing an option config auth token and this value but you can see it is not showing up because the ng rock even got updated you can see there are no comments something like that so how we will be doing is like so uh, keep the token uh, like this okay so uh just add an option auth token authentication token in the sense okay you can see only these are the few commands so we can add an authentication token or something like that so even this particular dashboard uh, kind of looks old so keep that in mind and hit enter so now you can see an authentication token is saved okay so all this this ng rock we haven't downloaded guys so once we ran that install.sh it got uh, downloaded there so that's the thing so you can see the authentication token and we placed it and you can see it's saved to the configuration file so the only thing that is left left for us is to run this tool so how you can run that so you can simply run this tool but before that you need to provide the executable rights so chmod plus x and ht uh, ht dot pi and uh, that's it so if i do an ls hyphen la now you can see uh, it is having some x so x in the cell is like for executable rights so let's run this so python 3 provide python 3 and the name and just hit enter okay so what happens is like it loads up and you can see it's a neofetch so you call it a neofetch so neofetch is a kind of utility it shows the details of your uh, machine and here you go you got some few options here so uh, you can get the normal data okay without any permissions or whatever it is like some kind of a recon information okay you can get a location so the, to the smartphones and you might be asking like uh, they and uh, if you send this link they should accept the particular uh, what you call the gps okay so the location they need to access uh, they need to allow the gps so that this url can show you and you can access the webcam macro cam what uh, microphone or whatever it is but the permissions are, are required here so let's go with something uh one here so let's try to gather the location 
so select the option one and hit enter but you can see like uh, uh here most uh, in the previous versions the ng rock used to work uh, by default but now you can see it is asking you to uh please run ng rock on port 2837 and send the link to the target so you need to copy this command okay so this is nothing but a command so this is how ng rock works and open a new tab okay open a new tab and go to the same location where you downloaded your storm breaker and you can see there is an ng rock here so so now guys uh after going to the location just run the command uh just run the command that they are providing here for you okay so uh you can see i can open this link here so you can use any http or https link whatever it is it is fine and i'll click on visit site okay so uh, that's the thing and you can use other softwares as well if you want to okay so now you can see this is how it looks like so if i click on change location uh, it is asking you to it will ask you for some kind of location permission and once you enable that you will be getting the access and let me close this and let me come back here you can see uh, the user denied the request for the geo location so that's fine and you can see some kind of information here so where it is accessing from and whatever it is so uh, i'll hit why you can if it is asking me to whether you want to return to the menu yes why and let's run other options as well okay so you can uh, access the webcam microphone okay you can just need to provide the option okay so i'll close this particular tab okay so uh, like it is asking you to open a different thing so just uh, just copy this thing okay so it is i think it's showing something i am not sure about that but uh, let me uh, open this particular thing and once you get an ng rock so you can serve that ng rock here to someone uh, and once they uh, allow the permission and you will be getting a screenshot or whatever it is so nowadays what happens is like this ng rock is asking you to visit site or something like that so once you click on that only you will be accessing to the visit so it is also a bit crafty here you can see it is mostly this particular tool is mostly designed for mobile phones okay so previously there used to be some fake login screen or whatever it is but right now it is not there so you need to give some permissions and once you give the permission so it will click your photo and it will be good to go okay so that is it guys how you can make use of this particular social engineering tool so this uh, tool is the uh, mainly for uh, what you call uh mobile attack so you can see all these the things that it is being written for is for mobile attacks only so like this uh, microphone or whatever it is you can see everything is for uh, thing that thing only so make sure you use it wisely and also this is how you can make use of this tool okay so uh, most of the people are getting issue with the ng rock and stuff so uh, do that and uh, so that your issues will be solved and also guys if you face any issues don't forget to google okay so you'll be getting a lot of new versions of this tool or any tool that it is going to come so uh, make don't uh, forget to google and also try to solve the issues okay on your own so that you can uh, learn more so i hope that's it guys that is it for this video and if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really into this stuff and this is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.